Welcome to the series. This is LDW. I'm your host, George Harris King. This is our ninth episode, guys. We are just three more episodes away from Lions Roar 2 to end this season. Um, uh, for those that are still new to the series, this is season two, ninth episode. If you want to catch more from the past in our series, go to my page. And it's in the playlist called Lions Den Wrestling. Uh, with FPW in the parentheses as this is played on fire pro wrestling world through the fire promoter mode um, So guys, let's evaluate our last show We had our first hardcore episode for this season You know we did that the hardcore stuff in our last season, but see for this one first one it meant something though Tessa Blanchard versus Pentagon jr Pentagon just wanted to knock her in back into shape so she can realize that she is not a loser anymore she's not a loser she's been on a serious losing streak throughout the series but he had knocked some sense into her he picked up the win over tessa but hey maybe she learned a lesson last time because they're about to walk into a tag titles tournament once again uh, just to validate the number of contenders and then face off for the belts at um lions roar 2 okay um still looking for people um, last time on our episode at the end, we saw that we got a TV deal for the show, which is freaking awesome. I want to look at that right now. Cause I, let me see broadcast contracts. We just figured we just got a contract term nine months. So we're going to be making some serious dough from that. So I'm not coming close to even worrying about money ever again, man. And when it comes to like booking the venue, we're not going to book a bigger venue until Lions Roar 2 with all three of the belts on the line um, and having some good matches simply. Okay. Um, congrats to Owen Miller. He didn't win the match, but still congratulations. He worked really, really hard last time. Um, he went to war with Nick Mondo in that main event for the junior heavyweight belt. Um, Nick Mondo picked up the win, but big honors. They shook hands right when the light, when the lights went, not the lights went out, but when the cameras were off, they shook hands. A lot of honor shown in that ring. Congrats to Owen Miller for showing who you are here in LDW. You are a fighter just like Nick Mondo. Just that simple, dude. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, they also Stanley Adams and Michael Elgin went at it one more time. This is their third match of the five match series. Finally, Michael Elgin picked up a win over Stanley Adams. Um, management still trying to figure out if their match will, if their series will end at Lions Roar 2. We're looking at how Michael Elgin is one half of the tag team champions and he'll have to defend his belt at Lions Roar 2. So. Most likely this series will be over by the 11th episode before our season finale. So there's that. Just wanted to establish that moving forward. Um, let's go ahead and work on this as I'm in the area. This, These keep getting recalled, so I'm not going to even go all out with that. These are taking a minute to sell. I'll leave it alone for now. Keep the sales coming in. Every time <laughs> sponsor contracts, they're good, George. They're good. All right, we're good. All right, return. Go ahead, man. No, not management. Human resources. They said for me to offer a contract to somebody in Latin America, and I already forgot their name, which is going to be a little hard for me to figure out again. Um, it's like a smaller name. It might be Carlos. It wasn't Carlos can't be Carlos unless it was because this was right after the recording was done they just told me that I should try to offer a contract to this person I think it was Carlos let's see be our first MMA guy maybe it was Carlos I'm trying to figure it out first MMA guy that's gonna be a little awkward honestly to be honest, it'll be awkward, but hey, screw it. Let's see. Yep, signed our first MMA guy. That's cool. Mm, that could be his debut. It could be his debut on this show. Face off against somebody. You know. Uh, Manage stables. 
consultation. So now we have a MMA guy. So that's a little bit uncomfortable for me, in my opinion. Cause we don't, we're not MMA. We're wrestling, you know. He's in poor conditioning, so yeah, he's gonna take a break today. Stanley Adams, he will be in action today. Of course, Jamie Wilson. She might be in action. I don't know. I'm still debating on her. She needs a match, honestly. She hasn't really been wrestling that much. And she's not even injured. Yeah, Owen Miller, he'll have a break today as well. Um, maybe Stanley can face Davy Carlos or something. Um, Nick Mondo and Ricochet can face off against um, Tessa Blanchard and Pentagon Jr. For the, um, not number one contendership, but the tournament towards the number one contenders. Now, our next show can be Hangman Adam Page finally makes his return back to the show. Tag teams with Jeff Bryan to face. Or, no, no, no. Wait. Well, I gotta think this through. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta think this one through, man. Hmm. I gotta think about this. Hmm. Huh. You know what? So it will be Tessa and Mike, uh, Tessa and Pentagon Jr. versus Ricochet, and um, we can't do double duty like that. See, this is what I'm talking about with this whole tag titles thing. We can't, we can't do a tournament simply because we got to make sure Ricochet he has a championship match. If he's in the tag titles match, we can't do both. Um. Michael Elgin, he's going to have to defend his belt with his tag team partner. So we got to just crown the number one contenders on this episode. It'll be Tessa and Pentagon Jr. versus the team of Jeff Bryan and Adam Page. And see who's the number one contenders. Um, dude, I'm about to just... I hate to say this, but I'm about to just give it to him. Because Adam Page has to defend his belt. He has to. Um, Tesla and Pentagon, they can challenge Michael Elgin and um, Michael Elgin and uh, Jamie Wilson and just call it at that because we don't have enough people and we got to make sure everybody has the title opportunities they have. So on today's show, we're not going to worry about tag team stuff. We're not going to worry about any of that stuff at all. But Michael Elgin and Stanley, At Michael Elgin does get the night off. So is Owen Miller. Stanley Adams is in action today. He can face Davey Carlos. Um, we'll book the show. Um, I just want to get to that now. Let's see. Management. We're good there. Wait. Let me look at the gym. Damn. Everything needs to be repaired. Let's see. That's good. There you go. What you do for our contact bar? Dun, dun, dun. That was random. Let's see. We're good there. Um, if I was going to give Stanley Adams now, I forgot to invite an MMA guy to face. What's his name? Well, truly, we could just build up to him debuting since he's an MMA guy. You know what I'm saying? If we were to build up to it... This is going to be an awkward episode, honestly. This is awkward. Because... You know, my plans, planning is all over the place. I'm trying to figure out what I can do. We signed somebody. It's not even fitting the style like that. He could do something big here. It's just it's a little awkward. That's all. Mmm... One thing we could do on this episode is crown the number one contender for the um, junior heavyweight title. Um, you know, we already have a heavyweight title torrent. We already have a heavyweight tech number one contender, and, and we have a um, tag. We now have tag team challengers for the belts. Now he's got to figure out who will face off. Um, 
not face off, who will be in our um, junior heavyweight title match. And man, this is awkward. Holy crap. Man, I am trying to work with this. I really am trying to work with this. We could, I mean, at the event, we could do. That's what I'm saying. Like we could build up to this one guy's debut since he's an MMA guy, and maybe put him against Stanley Adams with his cocky ass. Well, we also got to think about well, Jeff Bryan could face Owen Miller. That could happen at the show. We already have yeah. That that's what could happen at that Lions Roar too. That's what I can think about. But when it comes to tonight's show, the next show. And the next show after that, it's just gonna be random matches and stuff, man. Which is there's no big deal behind that. It's just a little awkward, like I said. But tonight's show is gonna be a little, little bit weird. Let's go ahead and book it. That one dude, he can sit there and be on the sidelines until he debuts at Lions Roar 2, so he can build up to it. So let's go ahead and book the event. Or we could find, let's just see if we can do a cross promotion show, man. I really want to do that, just at least once. Excuse me. Mm. This is the only show I can really match up with. Their assets are at $4 million? Jesus. Oh, because we're uh, not even noticing the relationship difference between the two of us. Other people have problems with us. Probably because we show them up. DFW, we could try it. Awesome. First cross promotion event. Well, all right. Let's get it, man. We finally did it. We finally doing it. I love it. Oh, Jesus, um, I don't even know how to do this. You know, that's going to throw me off. That's fine. Um, I don't even know. This will be Jeff Bryan's matchup. We gotta put in the people that are not injured at all. People that are good, man, you know. And Paige. Put him in the main event. Maybe we can use a ricochet for this one. Nick Mondo's in good condition, but I'd rather use Ricochet. Alright, our first cross promotion event. This should be fun. Let's see if we try to do a medium. Jesus. No big deal, but awesome. <laughs> okay, alright, go back down. <laughs> Worth a try, at least. Let's not go too far with everything. It's our biggest show with the cross promotion event. It's pretty cool. Finally we're doing our cross promotion event. That's so awesome. I love it. I've been wanting to do this like throughout the season. Spinning Panther. Gotta do Spinning Panther for all of them. That's our speed. Can't agree with nothing. This is all Spinning Panther, you know. Wait. So okay, we're at Medium Hall. That's cool. All right, we're gonna make a. We're gonna make so much money from this. Oh my God, this is gonna be awesome. Hmm. Let me let me think about booking one more time though. 
Um... Could put Tessa in the matchup. She in good conditioning. She she needs to stay active as much as possible. She needs to pick up at least something. You know. Oh, that made us worse. Okay. Back to Stanley Adams. There we go. Leave it at the ones that are popular. Ricochet, definitely gonna put him in there. And Paige in the main event. Against somebody. Alright, we're gonna go with our first ever cross promotion event. Awesome guys. It'll be televised too. So that makes it even better. I love it. I love it. Awesome. That's awesome. Something different for the season. I was I was getting concerned. Alright, let's do it guys. Oh crap. Um Uh oh. <laughs> um that's fine. Um, we could do, put Ricochet in this matchup. Or no, but, Jesus. Okay, we're back at the full house. Ricochet can start us off, then Stanley Adams, then Nick Mondo. They say I gotta book at least one title match. What? But what if my. I mean, I have confidence. Alright. <laughs> uh, that's a little risky because I don't know who they're gonna put up against my world champ, man. Alright, let's see. Tessa's booked, right? No, she's not. Pentagon? We're gonna need the mask sales. Is going to put him in action. Stanley Adams. We got that one. Ricochet will be a good choice. Especially because he's in good conditioning. I don't want to put my title on the line, man. That's going to. Wait a minute. Why did it change the atmosphere up there? Alright, let's put Jamie Wilson in. There you go. Now we're at full house. Jamie Wilson, Stanley Adams, Ricochet, Jeff Bryan, and Adam Page. Alright, we're good. I have confidence in my champion. All you gotta do is just not lose, man. Let's see. <laughs> it really pisses me off if he loses, though. That would really make me mad. <laughs> I'm worried. If he, if he loses, he better, he better not fucking lose. <laughs> this is a big, big, big show. He loses that belt. I don't know what to do with that then. I don't know what to do to get it back, is my attitude. But they'll, they'll figure it out with me. Confirm match card. Alright, guys. Big risk going into this one. This is actually the lowest we've had to pay for everything, which is pretty good. I think, like, why is it so low? Hmm. I mean, we're going to make a big amount of money from this, though. That's going to be cool. Um, everything's paid for. We got good human resources. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and start the show. Can't wait to see how the cross promotion event goes. Finalized management. Okay. First cross promotion event, guys. This is what they told me to do for this season. Now we finally got it done, dude. Here we go. Biggest show. Wait a minute. Why did it go back down? Oh, Will Osprey's signed to the show. I didn't even know that. Well, welcome back to the LDW stuff. Well, we're back, welcome back to the LDW series. Will Osprey versus Jeff Bryan. Look at that. 
I'm a little pissed that we're not sold out though. Because <laughs> I could have said full capacity. Whatever. Screw it. Next match. <clears throat> Ooh, welcome everybody to the first ever cross promotion event for LDW with FDFW guys starting us off if you remember him back on the LDW series this is Alan Gardner the hell clown welcome back to the LDW arena Alan Gardner happy to see you back man and Alan Gardner is going to face our big woman, Mr. Women. This is Jamie Wilson. Got a big, big, big match here. I just realized, guys, I just realized, sorry, side thing. I just realized why our capacity went down because of their people. We were already good with our people. So we, we were literally pulling them up. But, okay, Jamie Wilson, Alan Gardner to start us off. Here we go, guys. One half of our tag team champions, Jamie Wilson. She has really been proving herself for LDW. Exciting to see her start off our show here tonight. Throws Alan Gardner right outside the ring. Last time we saw Alan Gardner on LDW, he was in that tag team match. Couldn't really pick up the win tag team with Pentagon Jr., but really put on a show during that match. Happy to see him back. To face off against our newcomer slash ha one half of the tag champs in Jamie Wilson. There's a muscle match right here. Both of them are gigantic. Both of them so strong and agile. Really hope for um, Jamie Wilson. I hope she wins this matchup. Really taking advantage of Alan Gardner here. Ooh, a nice lariat. Make me proud, Jamie. Win this match. Just awesome. This is a five match show, guys. Um, oh! Yeah. Oh, our co main event of the evening is for the DFW Junior Heavyweight title. Jeff Bryan versus Will Osprey for the belt. If you remember Will Osprey on season one of LDW, he's back, baby, and he's a champion for DFW. And now let's see if Jeff Bryan can take that belt from him. We, Jeff, what have I been saying lately? Jeff Bryan is the American Will Osprey, so that's gonna be an instant classic later on tonight. Then our main event of the evening is Ka, that seems a uh, Kakabi versus our world champion Hangman Adam Page as he makes his return to LDW through this cross promotion event. I, we have our prayers out there hoping that he wins this. Whoever defends that belt, because personally, I don't know what's going to happen if he loses that belt here tonight, guys. But he's in great condition, has had some serious time off. He, he should pick up that win and come home with the belt, bring it home for LDW. And Jeff Bryan, he's had some time off as well. Let's see if he can pick up the win and bring the DFW Junior Heavyweight belt back home to us. That would be some big money opportunity and boost our ratings, boost our rankings as well. We're going to be good. All right, back to this match. Jamie has really taken advantage of Alan Gardner in this match. I've only seen Jamie pinned by one person, and that is Pentagon Jr. But overall, she's been on a winning streak ever since that one loss. So. Oh, oh, Mandible Claw. Alan Gardner really has not been putting in that much offense towards Jamie in this matchup, though, guys. Oof. Nicely done. Still pushing and going at it here, guys. Samoan drop. Puts Gardner down. Elbows are right in the mouth there. Oh, nice lariat. Pinfall here. One. Oh, kick out there. Such resiliency from Jamie. There we go. Oh, double, arm, double underhook powerbomb there. And then it follows up with a lariat. And then, oh my god, the arms on this woman. Just uses her forearms to knock him out. 
Now she's speeding it. Oh, nice elbow there. And now Jamie going up. Never seen that before. Splash to the back of Alan Gardner. Going up again. The athleticism of this big woman. Now what? Elbow to the back. Oh. Tombstone pile driver from Alan Gardner out of nowhere. And now a tombstone of her own. To oh, wow. To come back. And another tombstone pile driver. They're just battling with tombstone pile drivers. Oh, my goodness. Choke slam. Pinfall to follow up. One, two, three. Oh, I thought that was it. It's going to take a moment to thank our sponsors here tonight Burning Hammer Jumbo, Jumbo Mart. Excuse me, Monster Games, SRGM Home, Mascara Dorada, and thank you to our new broadcaster as well. Um, oh my god, Jesus! If only she did that. Oh, one, two! Oh! That was all over the ropes. I guess the referee didn't catch it. That amazing move. That's the first time I've seen her get a pinfall with that move. My goodness. It's a dominator mixture with a power power bomb. Oh my god. Has him up. These matches are under strong style, so I'm assuming there is no no rope breaks at all. Oh, the tombstone power driver puts her down. Now Alan Gardner going up. The big man oh drops the fist. All over the ropes with that chokehold. Will she tap? Will she get out of this? Yes, she does. Elbow to the back there. Now going up. Oh, a splash to the back of Alan Gardner. Going up once again. A, oh, a frog splash now. The athleticism of this woman. Mandible claw. Does she tap out? Throws him out. Now going after him outside the ring. Oof. Nasty chop to the throat there. Now going after him. Oh, elbow to the mouth. They're fighting on the outside of the ring. Looks like there are no countouts in this matchup, guys. Got the hardcore behavior. Choke slam on the outside of the ring. Oof, elbow to the jaw there. Another choke slam. She is just dominating this man. They are just fighting outside this ring. Oh my goodness. Be advised, there's a 30 minute time limit during this matchup. I hope these two don't do don't get too exhausted outside the ring. Somebody's gotta finish this. Oh my god! The strength of Jamie Wilson. Suplex. Oh, drops him on his head. Finish it. Finish him. Angle slam from Alan Gardner out of nowhere. Now what? Oh, elbows. She's fought him off. Is she going to finish him off now? Again with the forearm strikes. Again with forearm strikes. Oh, a nasty scoop slam and it falls up with a splash. One, two, three. Congratulations. Took home the win for LDW. <laughs> well, good job, Jamie Wilson. That's why she is one half of the tag team champions. Beautiful win. Beautiful. That deserved 100%. But. Congratulations, great way to start our show here for our first cross promotion event. Let's move on guys. Alright, moving on. Matt Gibson versus Stanley Adams up next. Alright, there he is. Looking like a whole Kiwi. This is 
the final wrestler, Matt Gibson. Okay. He's probably the reason why we're not at Full House tonight. But his opponent from LDW, representing LDW, this is Satan's general, Stanley Adams. We've seen him on the first season, and we've seen him as he's been signed to LDW now. You've seen his progress, his little rivalry with Michael Elgin so far has been fantastic. You saw him get bloody on our last show. Now here he is to defend LDW through his cross promotion event. Take it home, man. Stanley Adams. All right, this is our last. Hold on. I take that back. This is not our last non title match of the evening. But this is a big event. This is a. Oh, nice athleticism from Matt Gibson here. Oof. Nice, very nice technical ability from this man. They lock up. We're going for the power bomb. All right, maybe underestimating Matt Gibson. He might match up to Stanley in this one. Definitely not with strength though. Look at that. Ooh, the low blow. Stanley, whatever you do, use those dirty tactics. You take on the win for the LDW. You get a lot of credibility. Oh, raking the eyes now, then elbows him. Takes him down. Matt Gibson capitalizing on this man. Pinfall here. Doesn't get it. Oof. Again, the dirty tactics of Stanley Adams are ridiculous. Oof. Right to the family jewels. What is his problem? Sean makes sure his opponents doesn't have don't have kids one day or something. Takes him down. And now the Boston Crab. Oh, throws him in. Matt Gibson doesn't go for it. Looks like he's gonna prepare for it though. Now they exchange. Stanley. Oh, Gibson wins the exchange. I thought Stanley had him. Now a Boston Crab on Stanley Adams here. One thing that's kind of coincidental, Stanley Adams, he came in as a visitor. To, oh my god, that was an impressive kick, but Stanley Adams came into LDW as a visitor and faced off against one of our top stars, defeated him on, on that night, and then now he's signed to LDW, and now he's facing a visitor, a, a competing company in DFW facing off against Matt Gibson now he has to defend LDW himself in this matchup which is pretty cool from Stanley Adams perspective it's just ironic very ironic all right guys DDT from Matt Gibson oh spinning lariat but Stanley gets right back up and now with the punch is nice oh another low blow as this is a hardcore match, or no DQ match, excuse me. Pinfall here, one, two, oh, kick out. Nice resiliency from Stanley Adams. Amazing ability from Matt Gibson, though. These technical moves are amazing. Almost literally Bret Hart, Owen Hart level. Oh, now with the chicken wing cross face here. Will Matt Gibson tap? No. Gets right out of it. Going for the suplex. Oh, puts him down. Oh, another roll up. One, two, kick out from Stanley. Has him up. Oh, gets right out of it. Beautiful athleticism shown by. Matt Gibson, oh, misses that splash. Stanley going up now. A splash from him. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. Stanley just showing amazing ability in this match. The size of this man, he is not supposed to be able to do what he does in that ring. But he pulls it all off. And this is what's been defeating Michael Elgin. One, two, three. Oh, I thought that was it. Almost had him there. Stanley going in on Matt Gibson here. Throws him in. 
Here comes Gibson. And got all the Lariat there. Now what? What's he going to follow up with? And again with this move. One, two, three. Beats him with the Gato Clutch. Might as well be his complete finishing move. Congratulations, Stanley Adams. You brought home the win for LDW. All right, fantastic ending. Uh, not the best match in the world, but hey, moving on, guys. Congratulations to Stanley Adams for the win. All right, guys, now we have one of our top stars in LDW, Ricochet, up against Jonathan Morris from DFW. Here we go, guys. Alright, there he is, guys. This is... Sorry. The Wandering Assassin, Jonathan Morris. We've been winning tonight, DFW. LDW's been, you know, putting in... We've been, we've been picking up the wins tonight. Let's see if you can beat one of our top guys and our current number one contender for the heavyweight belt. This is the one and only Ricochet. I don't think Jonathan can beat him. I, I'm all all the cards on the table going all in. Ricochet's gonna beat him. Like he doesn't even realize who he's stepping into a ring with. This is a legend. This is the one and only Ricochet. All right, DFW versus LDW once again. Here we go. Ricochet already showing a bit of dominance already. Okay, Jonathan takes him down. Size difference is there, but Ricochet, he, he can go at it with the biggest and the smallest in the ring. With his abilities as the jack of all trades when it comes to wrestling. Oh! And now, oh, gets a one count over Ricochet there. Using his weight and size to his advantage comparison, based on comparison with Ricochet. That's something that Riche has to watch out for. Oh, misses that kick. All right. Calculated it. Encountered it. Good job for him. Oof. Has him up. Suplex. Stalling suplex. Oof. Has him in another suplex. Surprise Ricochet's not even reversing out of these. Just take a quick second to thank our sponsors tonight, Burning Hammer, Jumbo Mart, Monster Games, SRGM Home, and Mascara Dorada. Thank you guys for your support, and thank you to our new broadcasting system. Alright, back to the match, guys. Bit of a slow match so far, but hey, it's building up. I have a lot of faith into Ricochet right now that he will win this match. There you go, back and forth here. Oh, Ricochet wins the exchange. Taking advantage of Jonathan Morris. I can see that Jonathan has nothing but ego in him. So, Ricochet's got to deal that. Oh my God, biting the forehead of Ricochet. Oh no. Now Ricochet's all opened up after that. And now it's lit a fire in Ricochet. Wait a minute, what is this? It's like a regal, regal stretch there. Oh, one, two, kick out there. Ricochet is definitely going to need some stitches after this show tonight. Definitely will have still have enough time to prepare for his match at Lions Roar again with this power bomb. What? One, two. Seriously, I keep forgetting this is a hardcore match. One. Come on, Ricochet, bring home this win. Defend a LDW in this match. Now with a chair. Watch out, Ricochet. Kicks the chair right out of his hands. Oof. Here comes Morris. And with the stinger splash, gets all of it. Boo this man. That's right, fans. 
Come on, Ricochet. Oh my goodness, a chair to the back of his head. Now what? Oh, snap suplex from Ricochet. Come on, Ricochet. You got this. Stay in it. Oh, throws him right out. Boo this man. Boo him. That's right, fans. Whoa, misses the chair shot. Come on, Ricochet. Oh, gets him right in the gut. Spinning neck break around the chair. Come on, Ricochet. Oh, takes that chair shot right to the head. Oh, beautiful butterfly suplex. One, two. Ricochet still fighting in this match. That's what I love about him. That's why I booked him for this show tonight, guys. That's why he's been booked, guys. Like He's a fighter. A lot of hope in him. A lot of confidence in him. Oh, spinning neck breaker. Oh, hit right to the gut there, guys. Oh, misses the chair shot. Come on, Ricochet. Fight. Fight for LDW. There you go. Nice, nice corkscrew senton there. And then falls up with a flipping senton. Now what? Now what? Oh, my God. Grabs him by his eyeballs and chokeslams him down. Oh, and hits him right in the cut. Come on, Ricochet, fight. Just keep fighting. Oh, a power slam from Ricochet. Oh, another corkscrew sent on there. Kick to the back. And now a flipping Pele kick. And now a low blow. One, two, come on, Ricochet. Three. Jonathan Morris picks up the first win for DFW tonight. Come on now. That's all right. That's all right. Valiant effort from Ricochet, though. All right. Good match. Good match. Moving on. DFW, you just you just got lucky. Okay. Let's be real. These dirty taxes just to beat him. Do this in a regular match. He'll lose. Moving on to our co-main event of the evening for the DFW Junior Heavyweight Belt. Welcome back, Will Osprey, to LDW as he faces off against Jeff Bryan to defend his belt. Take home the towel, Jeff. We got this in the bag. And... All right. Cold main event of the evening. I would describe this man as the American Will Ospreay. Up and coming talent. Has put on five star matches for LDW. This is Night of Despair, Jeff Bryan. Jeff Bryan just picked up a good win over um, Tessa Blanchard recently. But this is definitely going to pull out everything that he's got. Because welcome back, Will Osprey. You guys remember from the first season, as he was a very active member, competing over and over again, and competed at the first Lions Roar. Now here he is back to defend DFW and his DFW Junior Heavyweight title. All right, come on, Jeff Bryan. Take home the belt. This is going to bring out all the potential in both of these men because they're both very matched up. I believe they faced off before in LDW. So this this is high, much higher stakes than two levels for the belt and also to defend their promotions. We just saw Ricochet get defeated, be defeated by... Um, he was just defeated by Jonathan Morris. Let's see if LDW can come back as LDW has two wins, DFW has one win. Oof. Come on, kid. Get back up. Drop kick to the back of his head. Come on, Jeff Bryan. And this is another pay dirt there. Kicks him right in the leg. It's almost like Will Osprey's toying with him. Nice arm drag there. Oof. 
Elbow to the mouth. Oof. Puts him down. Osprey going in. It's crazy. All that time trying to sign with Osprey, he signs with our competition DFW now. That's just amazing to me. Great to see him back, but really, it's a big middle finger to us and a big middle finger back to him for this. We can pull up that middle finger back to him if Jeff Bryan can just win this belt and take it home for LDW tonight. But one thing to mention real quick, Kakag Kagami will be facing off against the LDW heavyweight champion as he puts it on the line. Heyman and Page is an undefeated champion and has had so much time off to rest and train and do what he needs to do. So a lot of confidence in him. I know he'll win and take that belt home with them tonight and continue his undefeated streak in the wrestling world right now. All right, nice exchange between these two men. Jeff Ryan wins the exchange. All right, kick to the gut there. All right. Oof. The strikes, punches, all that. Those are men. Oh, spinning back kick, guys. Kick to the back of Jeff Bryan's head. Now, headlock here. He has got him. Now, a nice Boston Crab to Will Osprey. Oh, puts him down. Pinfall here. One. Kick out there. Elbows. Drop kick to the back of Jeff Bryan's head once again in this match. Scoop slam. Bryan with a submission hold very impressively executed. Now with the Boston Crab once again. You can see he's focusing on that midsection area. As I think I've mentioned before through Jeff Bryan's matches, you focus, when it comes to the high flyers, you focus on their core strength and you focus on their backs, their legs. That takes out all their high flying ability and their athleticism. One. Okay, takes out a lot of their abilities and will loosen them up. And if you put them in truly, out, they have to worry about they're putting a submission hole because that will loosen them. They've been loosened up so much throughout the match, they may end up tapping out, or their backs and their legs are going to be so beaten up they're not going to be able to kick out. So there's that. And now Will Osprey. Oh my goodness. With a Nagata type of arm hold there. Throws him in. Oh my god, what was that? A flipping DDT. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. So close, guys. Good thing Rick, referee Rick Knox could notice that. Oh, excuse me, not Rick Knox. Paul Turner. Got him. Pinfall here. One, two. Through, oh, I was so excited for a second there. I thought Jeff Bryan had him. Spinning back kick from Will Osprey. Roll up here. Out of nowhere. One, two, kick out. If you remember at Lions Roar number one, Will Osprey faced Ricochet for that. Hold on. One, two, for the LDW Junior Heavyweight Belt, even though he wasn't even signed to LDW. Ricochet defended his belt successfully. No time for showboying, kid. Defend his belt against Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay went right back to the Indies starting off this season. And we have not seen him so far. Now here he is back for this cross promotion. Man, as he signed with DFW. Clearly he wants to fucking be in LDW. <laughs> Excuse my language. But seriously, clearly he wants something to do with, DFW, with LDW. One, two. Oh, kick out there. Clearly he wants some type of connection. And here he is back with a junior heavyweight belt. Defending it here against our guy Jeff Bryan, but I mean it again with his middle finger to DFW after that that bullcrap match that we just saw with Ricochet and John Morrison. Oh, he's gonna follow up. Spinning 6:30 moves on one two. Oh, I got excited. But if Jeff Bryan can defeat Will Osprey and pick up the win here, that would be amazing, guys. We we need another win here 
show DFW what we've got and send them home in tears. Going for it, super kick. And Jeff Bryan's down. Oh man, I thought he was gonna get back up. Going for something here. Jeff Bryan reverses out. Step up, Enzigiri. Come on, Jeff. Make us proud in LDW. Oh, another Enzigiri. Come on, Jeff. Roll up here. One, two, three. <gasps> Jeff. Brian is the new DFW Junior Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> what? He got him, guys. He got him. Wow. Jeff Bryan is the new DFW Junior Heavyweight Champion. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Good job. Congratulations to Jeff Bryan. You just took home a big, big win for LDW. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Next match is our main event of the evening. Kagami versus our LDW heavyweight champion, Hangman Adam Page. Wow. I'm so proud of him right now. I don't know too much about Kagami, but I guarantee you he cannot beat our world champion, the Black Technician. All right, the Black Kid Technician Kagami will now face off against the LDW Heavyweight Champion as he puts his title on the line. Oh, that's impressive. Hangman Adam Page is undefeated. Hangman Adam Page has been undefeated for over a year now okay this is a big match this is a big event if let's hope that he doesn't critically injure this kid here tonight let's go hangman adam page whatever you want to say about hangman page for his his thing lately with ldw support him in this match and hope he he brings home that belt all right hangman page oof Puts him down. Adam Page does not play games. That's a fact. Alright, drop toe hold. Very impressive from Kagami. Puts him down. Nice leg whip there. Adam Page is a fighting champion. Trains hard. Has his time off that he gets because he is the world champion. Throws him back in. Really showing the dominant attitudes in this matchup. Hangman hey Page is doing. Snap suplex there. Misses that drop kick. Oof. Throws the kid out. Catches his breath. There's a reason why he wears those golden design trunks. Oh. Because he is the champion, guys. This has been a very successful event tonight. It'll be a big ending for Hangman Page to take home his gold and successfully defend LDW and that prestigious world championship. One last time, I want to thank Burning Hammer, Jumbo Mart, Monster Games, SRGM Home, and Mascara Dorada for sponsoring this event. And thank you to our new television company that is broadcasting to you guys at home. I love it. Back to our match, guys. Hangman Page still in control. Since like seems like Kagami's coming back a little bit. Neckbreaker from Hangman Page. Hangman Page has put people out of out of uh, commission. He's put people in the hospital. He's done it all in LDW. Been hardcore, five star tag teams every he's done everything in LDW so I'd be very surprised if Kagami can even come close to defeating Adam Page in this matchup the best have stepped in the ring with Hangman Page the best that we have have stepped in the ring and cannot defeat him there's no way he will lose to this guy right now I guarantee you that oh my god I've never seen that before 
He just drop kicked him outside the ring. That just pissed Kagami off. Throws him in. Now, Hangman Page throws him in. Kagami is getting upset because he's being dominated by Hangman Page in this match. All right, that's the first advantage I've seen so far. He's got Hangman Page down. Hangman coming back now. Oof, standing moonsault. One, two, kick out there. Misses the drop kick there. Oh, pinfall. One, two. That's what defeated Tessa Blanchard on our first episode of the second season. Now going for those legs. Hey, man, Paige is so dangerous in that ring. Really makes me concerned. Oh, misses that lariat. That would put him away. Oh. The fact that there's no rope breaks. Hangman Page, he is completely taking advantage of that. Come on, Page. Get out of this. Get out of this. Boston Crab. He is trying. Kagami is trying to put Hangman Page down. Has this little bit of an advantage. Let's see. If he can finish off Paige. Gets him off. Oh. Snap suplex from Kagami. A little bit of an advantage so far. Alright. Come on, Hangman. Hangman Page has been in this type of situation where he's almost been defeated. And he's persevered out of it and still successfully defended the LDW heavyweight title. Oof. Jesus. Shooting star press. One, two. Oh my God. See what I'm talking about? Hangman Page just comes back with those big moves. Puts him down. Pinfall. One, two. Oh. I thought that was it. Scoop slam. I was showing off. All right. Whatever. Oh, gets all that. One, two. Oh, kick out there. Now, Paige. Oh, falling power bomb. Pitfall. One, two, three. Oh, I thought that was it. And now, my God. Rights of passage. One, two. Oh, Kagami gets out of that. Again with this. One, two. Go! Oh, he is so close to defeating Kagami in this matchup. Now what? Puts Hangman down. What's he? What's he going for? Oh! 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 oh very nice move there. Hangman Page, watch out! Coming off the ropes. Oh, Superman punched to the back of his head. Oh, punch to the gut. Going up. Kagami. Oh, one, two. Oh, kick out. Almost had Paige there. Going up once again. Oh, moonsault to the back of Hangman Page. And Paige. Falling power bomb. Pinfall here. One. Two, three. Hangman Page continues his undefeated streak and is still the LDW heavyweight champion, guys. Awesome. Simply awesome. Wow. Just wow. Congratulations to Adam Page. You have defended your belt and the pride of LDW once again. Awesome. Awesome show. That's awesome. 83% rating. Screw it. <laughs> we took one of their belts. We took over oh, wins. Share that little crap with Ricochet. That makes them look bad. Because of what that guy did. We are good. We are so good. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Victory broadcast our strength to fans and the industry lets me let's maintain our momentum. Jeff of LDW won the DFW Junior Heavyweight title to become the new champion. That's correct. 
everything went great so awesome guys so awesome I love it we're getting better and better and better all right good for them screw all those other promotions we are at a million two hundred and thirty four thousand five hundred and thirty dollars we have really made it guys I love it look at all that tickets everything everything's just going amazing I love it guys I just gotta look at it again yes wow wow we are we are up there guys we are up there with the big dogs now that's awesome awesome show let me go ahead and save my game all right thank you guys for watching awesome show we've made it guys we've made it um that was our ninth episode that we have the 10th the 11th and then it's lions roar 2 can't wait to get to that event catch you guys later i've been your host george harris king that was our first cross promotion event thanks for watching good night